Hello friends, Tom Downey here for NFL Daily with the latest on Amari Cooper. We do have some updates for you guys on Cooper, courtesy of Adam Schefter. Now, as we reported before, the Raiders do want a first round pick for Amari Cooper, which we'll get into in a little bit. But the report from Adam Schefter is that the Dallas Cowboys are among the teams that have shown interest with the Cowboys calling around to people who know Cooper, trying to gather information. Also, the Redskins and the Colts are among the teams that have called on Cooper. Now, the Raiders doing a first-round pick, which I think is a little bit high, which we'll dive into here in a little bit, because in large part, I don't think Cooper is worth a first-round pick, and I don't think NFL teams feel the same way. Cooper has struggled with drops throughout his NFL career, and he's currently in concussion protocol. Now, while that's not the worst thing in the world, it is worth noting. He's got this year and then next year left on his deal, and he carries a $14 million salary. And Although he had promise and was actually quite good in 2015-2016, the last two years have been a disappointment for Amari Cooper. The drop problems are still there. He has not played all that well in 2018. And some have said, oh, the Raiders don't know how to use him, which I have a big problem with because if you can't use Amari Cooper, that's either you have just a terrible offense, which could be the case, or the receiver isn't quite the same guy. So with Cooper... It is noteworthy though that the Cowboys are among the teams showing interest. Now, when it comes to his trade value, I don't think he's worth a first-round pick. I'll give up a third-round pick for him, and you could possibly talk me into a second-round pick depending on your team construction and what kind of picks you have and where you're going to be drafting. So I do not think he's worth a first-round pick, and if the Raiders will not budge on that, then he's not going to be traded. Before we dive into the teams that have shown interest in Amari Cooper, I want to quickly remind everyone that I do have a free game on BetDSI. DM me on Twitter, Weekly NFL Pick'em. You come in first place, you get 25 bucks. Sign up is free. Just DM me at WhatGoingDowny. All right, the Cowboys have shown interest, and in, the report is, I think, kind of hyped up Cowboys fans. But I do just want to make note here overall, them doing information and gathering it, that's just kind of their jobs. They are not the only team doing this. Now, it makes sense for Dallas to have interest because their receiving core is not very good. Cole Beasley was great against the Jack. He was going first against the Redskins today. Allen Hearns has been an, a non-existent impact guy. He has not done much. Gallup has shown some promise, but he's still a third-round rookie. Deontay Thompson is fast. Tavon Austin is now hurt again. Bryce Butler is still the same old Bryce Butler. So the Cowboys should have interest, but much like the overarching point here, how much would it actually cost them? So that's the Cowboys receiver depth chart. Frankly, it's one of the worst receiving cores in the NFL. Now, two of the teams that showed interest were also the Indianapolis Colts, and we'll start with them. Beyond T.Y. Hilton, look, this receiving core is just not very good. They're thin. I don't love Ryan Green. He's a decent slot guy, I guess. Chester Rogers is more of a number four or five. Zach Pascal and Marcus Johnson, ugh, who cares about that? Now, make note here with the Colts. They have two second-round picks this year, from one of being them from the Jets. So if they're willing to give a second-round pick, they've got the extra ammunition to make something happen. And plus, you need to get Andrew Luck some more, more guys, and Amari Cooper is only 24 years old. Another, guy, another team, I should say, that I want to mention here are the Redskins, and they reportedly have shown interest. And again, Paul Richards and, and Jamison Crowder are both banged up. That leaves Josh Dotson, Brian Quick, Michael Floyd, and Maurice Harris. Oh, that's not very pretty at all. So from a, from a need perspective, the Colts, the Cowboys, and Redskins all fit that bill. It's not a surprise that they've been reported to have interest in Amari Cooper. And in my new top five teams that could trade for Cooper, well, the Cowboys remain number one. The Colts go up to number two. Redskins are now at three. And we'll drop the Bills and the Titans down to number four and five. I do talk a little bit more about Amari Cooper, but first... Where will he play after the NFL trade deadline? Let me know in the comments section. Will it be Dallas? Will he not be traded at all? Will he just stay with the Oakland Raiders? Let me know what you guys think. As for Cooper, one more thing I want to make note here is we can bring up his player card and some B-roll is that there is the report from The Athletic and Mike Lombardi that there are some concerns about if Amari Cooper loves football, if he has the passion for football, which always happens when there are trade rumors around a guy. And that, I guess, is a plausible fear for Cooper, but he was good his first two years. But in the end, this all comes down to the asking price. If the Raiders drop it down to a second or a third round, or especially a third, I think a trade does get down. But if they remain adamant that, you know what, no, we want a first-round pick for Amari Cooper, I don't think any team is going to get that, especially if the Cowboys, Redskins, or Colts, who could be giving up a top-20 pick for a wide receiver. 
The need is there, but the price will always remain a big factor there. The Raiders, again, are on bye this week. Deadline is October 30th. Keep an eye out for that if the Raiders do move Cooper. I will put nothing past John Gruden these days. He is very willing to make deals. But again, let me know in the comment section, folks, where you guys think Amari Cooper will play after the NFL trade deadline.